Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. Dashi, sound the Octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are. Eels. <gasps> lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere. But where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born up the river to this lake where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cap. already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Yeah. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. We're going upstream, and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Steer with me. One, two, three. <sighs> Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. Eels are swimming fast. Aye, well we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. to Barnacles. Are you all right? We're all right, Dashy. We're just going for a little spin. Oh, no. I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the octopod. We're all OK. But the guppe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after them, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacle's out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing. Uh -oh. Help. Hmm? Help. Did somebody say something? Help. 
Where are you? Down here. Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. <coughs> oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry. My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. Hmm. You need a bandage. <laughs> that was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. <sighs> that water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. <sighs> Let's go. A key. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. Yeah! We have to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Everyone okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. I am full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the duck, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? If you say so. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Peso, 
be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not. As long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Naka whack. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Naka whack comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi, 
right into that Nakawax lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the Octo Alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster! It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah! We have to get back to the Octopod now. Hang on. Long tail? Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto? I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. <laughs> Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. Listen, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the Octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, my throat, it really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Whoa! Oh, vast! It's the Nakawak! And it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the knackerwag hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a knackerwag. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <laughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah, of course not. I only eat tiny things, and besides, I don't have any teeth. Look! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep, my brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pinto, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends.
ready to go, Tweak? Yep. I've put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. No! Press this, and you'll be bounced out of the gup B faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. Ow! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the gup. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, I'm me hearty. Now open the octo hatch. If you don't turn off the engine first, the gup bee will drive away without you. Got it. Now let's go. Forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite gup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the gut B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the gup finder. It should show us where the gup B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the Gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the Gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the Gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gup sea ready, Tweak? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh. Quasi! Oh. Let's go, Shellington. <laughs> Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. 
Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big, but according to the gup finder, we're close. This way! Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Hold on! That must be the gup bee! Come back here! What did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Aye, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> <laughs> Uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon, and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish. Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No. He mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? You! Yeah, you! <laughs> here, over here. Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me. Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here. Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp. <laughs> it's... it's... The gut bee! Yeah! Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> <laughs> they do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gut bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> it's good to be back in my favourite gut. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> Just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Looks like our kind of place, Captain. And best of all, this whole area is still unexplored. 
It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's gonna be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning. Morning? A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yeah! No match for Quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp uh, spiders? Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. Fire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of it. Oh, that's strange. Wait, who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <clears throat> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight legs! Just like a... Sp Spider! Yow! <laughs> You're not gonna believe what I saw back there! It was creepy! It was crawly! It was... it was this big! No! It was bigger than that! It was huge! <sighs> what was it? A vast! It was a giant spider! And it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the good bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know, you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. This is the spider! Hello out there. We mean you no harm. 
We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our guff? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz would be alive. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A oh, goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it! Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, what, what you doing? <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to test the Octomax suit? Ready. Let's start with the robotic arms. Robotic arms, check. Now the jackhammer. Jack 
him a kick. All right, now let's test those cameras. Front view, check. Side view, check. Oh, hi, Quasi, Professor. Whoa, how'd you see us? With my rear view camera, check. check. What in the seven seas is this thing? A diving suit or a gup? Both. It's as strong as a gup, but small enough to get into tight spaces where the gups can't go. We call it the, the Octomax suit. suit. The Octomax suit, eh? He looks perfect for wrestling sea monsters. When can I try it out? Not now, Quasi. We have a mission of our own, remember? Oh, right. Planting. Coral. Not just any coral. Deep sea coral. And it can only be planted in the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? Why didn't you say so? Let's go! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Quasi. A fast, Professor. Over there. Uh, perfect, Quasi. Psst. Over there. It's our lucky day. Food. Food? What kind of food? How much? What's it look like? I can't see it very well. Oh, of course you can't. We're gulpa eels, remember? We can't see anything very well. I know. I'm over here, by the way. Oh, oh kind of looks like sea snake. Uh, they're wriggling all over the place. Now let's open our jaws and... <gasps> You get anything? No. You? Nothing. And those aren't sea snakes. Then what were those wiggly things? Tentacles. Octopus tentacles. O -o Octopus, my all-time favorite. Ooh, we can't let him get away. Uh, hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. Now come on. The deep sea coral should feel right at home here. Yeah? Looky, look. Octopus tentacles straight ahead. Oh, yes, I can almost taste them. <laughs> Professor, look out! <laughs> We've been inked! Oh, retreat! Retreat! Oh, yeah! That was some fast squirting, Professor. What were those slithery beasts? Oh, just some gulper eels out looking for a meal. Nothing to worry about. Those little fellas were out to eat you. Gulper eels can open their mouths wide enough to swallow creatures much bigger than they are. Uh, now, where were we? Ah, hmm. Inkling to barnacles. Go ahead, Professor. We've planted all the coral. And we're coming home. Good work. We'll see you soon. I think, um, I may need a little help getting my tentacles untangled. I'll get you out, Professor. Those rocks are no match for me. <laughs> I've almost <laughs> got it. It's not safe down here, Quasi. Get out while you still can. A pirate never leaves his crew behind. Yow! <laughs> or his tail. <laughs> Captain, I'm picking up some big tremors coming from the midnight zone. The sea floor's breaking up. Come in, Captain! Tight! Giant bombers! We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Oh, 
Lords, Professor Inkley and Quasi are trapped in the Midnight Zone. They're wedged in under some boulders. We have to get them out right away. Tight space, heavy lifting? Sounds like a job for... The Octomax suit! Just what I was thinking. The air tank is only good for a short mission. Then we'll have to work fast. Tweak, Dashy, Peso, let's go. <laughs> There's the Gup E. Hmm, they must be down there. It's up to you now, Dashy. We'll monitor your air tank from here, but you'll have to work fast. I'm on it, Captain. Any sign of Professor Inkling and Quasi? Not yet, Captain, but it's dark down here. Activating searchlight. Bingo! I see them. I'm going in, Captain. We read you, Dashy. Keep us posted. Looks like you two are in a tight spot. Dashy! Don't worry. I'll have you both out of there in no time. <sighs> oh, it's too heavy. Now what? Don't worry, Quasi. This suit has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Activating Jackhammer. One tentacle free, two to go. Well done, Dashy. Now, move the jackhammer to your right and down. I'm still hungry for octopus. Let's swim back slowly. And then we'll open our jaws and... Go! Captain, we've got visitors. Dashy, gulper eels coming up fast. From behind. And they look hungry. Dashy, activate the snack shooter. Great idea, Tweak. Snack time. Food. That should hold him. The second tentacle's out. Just one to go. Mm. Hurry, Dashy. You don't have much air left. Almost there. But this rock's really wedged in. Oh, how about a little octopus ink? That might help me slide it out. Good idea, Professor. I'll take a blast of that too, Professor. I'll lift while you two try to wriggle free. <laughs> We did it, Captain. They're both free. Well done. And just in time, Dashy's almost out of air. Dashy, get back to the gulf now. Aye, aye, Captain. Wait. My friend, he's trapped. We can't leave him there. Even if he did try to eat you. Don't worry. We'll help you out. Stand clear. Hurry, Dashy. Oh, ah, I'm free. Oh, thank you. No problem. Now, let's get out of here. Ooh, you'd better get out of here, too. Oh, no. Hurry, Dashy! <sighs> that air feels good. Good work, Dashy. I'll have you good as new in no time. Oh, thank you, Peso. It looks like the tremors didn't hurt the coral, Professor. Excellent. Let's head back to the octopod. I could certainly use a cup of tea and some fish biscuits. After all that excitement, <laughs> I'm as hungry as a gulper eel. Go! <laughs> you do that every time. I know, I'm awfully sorry. Octonauts, my great-grandfather once visited the waters where the octopod sits tonight. Was he an ocean explorer too, Professor? Yes, indeed, Captain Barnacles. 
He wrote this book about the amazing things he saw in his travels. But there's a mystery in here that I've never solved. Yeah, I love a mystery. Then listen to this, Quasi. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth, when all of a sudden, I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was a... Hmm. Huh? A what? That's the mystery. The next page in the book is missing, you see. Oh, Professor, we're in the same part of the ocean where your great-grandfather saw something amazing leap out of the water. Maybe we can discover what it was. That would be wonderful, Captain. There's a map in the book that might help you find it. Yeah. Why don't you take it with you? Oh, are you sure? Uh, it's never left my library, but... We'll take good care of it, me hearty. We promise. Don't worry, Professor. I'll put it in my special waterproof satchel, just to be extra safe. All right, Shellington. Octonaut to the launch bay. Yeah. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. I don't see a thing. I'd better check the map in the professor's book to make sure we're in the right place. OK, but be careful with it. Of course I'll be careful with it. And why don't I hold it for you while you look? I can hold it myself. <laughs> Quasi Shellington, look at this. <laughs> Flying fish. took the professor's book. We're going after them. There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. Oh! <laughs> and look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Peso, we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. <sighs> you need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. OK. Thank you. Captain, the flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Flying fish! That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. 
I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> you lost it? But, but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water, and before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. But how? Those flying fish got away from us before, but now we know how to catch up to them. We just have to leap out of the water and fly like they do. But, Captain, how in the seven seas are we going to do that? Tweak? I'm on it, Cap. I'll get a little advice from my new friend on how to make the guppy fly. The first thing you have to do is leap out of the water. That means you have to go up very, very fast. Well, I already know how to do that. Wait, that's just the first step. What goes up? <laughs> um, oh. Must come down. Ah, I almost had it. After you leap out of the water, how do you stay in the air? Oh. I spread me pectoral fins like this, so I can glide. Hmm. And I use me tail fin to push myself out of the water. Fascinating. Hmm. Pectoral fins and a tail fin that can move. Got it. <sighs> okay. I've added pectoral fins and a tail fin. Fully adjustable. Now, Cap. All we have to do is test her out and see if she'll fly. I'm afraid there's no time for a test, Tweak. Aye, we've got to get the professor's book back. There's not a second to lose. Peso, is our flying fish friend good to go? Time for a checkup. <laughs> Try moving your tail, Finn. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> He's ready to fly, Captain. With your help, we'll find your friends and get the professor's book back. Into the gups, Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Open the Octo Hatch, Tweak. Aye, aye, Cap. Mateys. And there's the professor's book. Let's see if we can fly too, me hearty. That's incredible. Look at them go. Amazing. Ooh, flying fish. I see it. Happy flying! Yippee! Octonauts, thanks to you, we can now add the ending to my great grandfather's adventure. We are ready. Oh, yes. Please. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth when all of a sudden I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was. A magnificent school of flying fish. I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>